Hello there everybody, today I am playing an indie adventure game called Port of Call. Uh, this is free to play on Steam, there will be a link in the description if you want to play it. Uh, this has been sitting on my desktop for about a day or two, I've wanted to play it, so let's just hop right in. Up one, yeah, basic controls, that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to assume I have to do the voices for the characters. I doubt they're fully voiced, so. Middle of nowhere, random guy. Normal Thursday, you know. He even built this. this seems in like the middle of the sea. And you're gone. And did the lantern go out? Okay, no point messing with it. Hello? What's up with your face? It seems to be missing. Why can't I get straight up? Okay, there we go. Oi! Loud music? Okay. Oi, you there. You're late. Where did the hell did you come from? Who are you? Where am I? Late? Late? Late for what? I think you know perfectly well why you're here. His thumb, oh my god. On board with you. I'll see you in the bridge. Come on. God, this is loud. One second. Come on now. Get. Oh. Oh, well, okay then, that's... that's nice. And the dock's gone, now I'm stuck here, okay. How do I get up to the bridge exactly? This is a nice ship. Oh. Well, hello there. Pretty sure that's not how you steer. You're supposed to, like, grab onto the steering wheel. Or whatever you want to call that. I don't know what- is it called the steering wheel on the ship? I doubt it. Uh. Oi. Alright. To business. I assume you know how to do your job. Get to it, then. I'm the captain on this here hunk of scrap. And I'll have no more dilly dally. Bro, what what am I even here to do? Great. They've sent me another idiot. I haven't the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. I have a ship to run. I guess I can start you off on a simple task though. If that's not too hard for you, we little brain. Damn, he just called me dumb. It's not nice. I didn't see the one thing, but go get her ticket. Little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without squealing like a babe. I wonder why you don't seem to have a face. Or it's just hidden under like the big hood. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of you, heh <laughs> heh Okay. Oh. Lag. What the? What is this? That's interesting. Now you see, I didn't see a floating book before, so I'm going to assume it's this room. Oh. Well, you're a special one, aren't you? Jesus, how do you do that? How do you have books floating? You are very special. Are you crying? Yo, are those cat ears? <laughs> 
Yeah, you're definitely crying. Alright, I'm gonna do this voice the best I can. God, this is gonna be cringe. You know what? Don't eat me! Oh, who are you? The ferryman sent me. The boogeyman sent you? Jesus Christ. Are you going to eat me? I'm not here to eat you. I'm here to get your... I'm here for your ticket, kid. I kind of want to say I'm a little <laughs> That's not funny. But you don't seem scary like him. You seem... familiar. I didn't see what that said. It clicked too fast. Ticket? I don't remember getting any ticket. But I am missing something. Heads. Do you know where he is? Heads. Heads is the bestest bear in all in the world. He's my best friend. The last time I saw him we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Who the heck is Marcus? Did you find Heads? Tell me who's Marcus first. I can't jump, so... Look in the corner. <laughs> I, I like that kind of, I like that humor. Choo-choo, I guess. I'm a bit too old to be playing with toys. Oh, I can pick it up. I can pick up stuff as well. Bell House doesn't look inhabited. Okay. Oh, I know these. Many hours were spent playing this game. I cran. Yeah, there's definitely no reflection. Okay, I picked up the crayon, and now there's... Okay. Well, why'd it go silent all of a sudden? I don't like that. There was music, and now there's not. And why is this room sideways? Oh! Heads, you look a bit scary, but... I'm gonna opt out from going there. Uh, yo, I found Ted's. <laughs> oh, Ted's. I missed you so much. Hmm. The last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's were playing together while Mom and Dad were gone. I'm more curious in who is Marcus. Marcus is my big brother. He's nice, and funny, and silly. And the dork. We were playing hide and seek when... What happened? The three of us were playing hide and seek. Marcus, Ted's, and me. Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea for a hiding spot, so I listened to him. Where did you hide? We went to go hide with the rest of Ted's friends in the toy chest. Okay, that's a classic spot to hide, a big chest. Get locked in there, question mark? I climbed in, but the lid fell down and it got dark. I got scared. The wooden lid was too heavy, I couldn't lift it off. Where was Marcus? I don't know. I called for him. I think he was upstairs. It was so dark. They couldn't breathe. And then it hurt. 
why didn't Marcus find me? Yeah. He always liked being Seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. Do you think he wanted to find me? I think Marcus wanted to find you. Seems like a good kid, just like you. I think you're right. I remember hearing him call for me. I hope I see his dorky face again someday. Whoa. Ooh, another crayon. Well, I got the ticket. I, th I can presume that everyone on board is dead. I can presume, presume that she suffocated in that toy chest and that's why uh, her brother quote unquote never found her. Though he probably found the body. Mm -hmm. You got your first ticket. I guess you're not com completely inept. Ooh, the girl Lily made it sound like she was dead, or who was that little girl? What's she doing here? The girl, Lily, made it sound like she was dead. And? What of it? Oh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her. See here, loads of kids off it every day. Whoa! And you don't give a rat's ass about any of them. Why would she be any different? Uh, what happens to her now? Hell if I know, hell if I care. I just deliver the stiffs. <laughs> okay then. Obviously doesn't care. Anything that happens to them afterward is not my problem. Anyway, I got another job for you now, laddie. Use the lift at the end of the hallway. And go talk to the drunkard in the bar. I can't understand a thing the fat man says. And I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. Okay bit mean. Rotary phone shameless thing is in antique. Captain, the scratch doesn't seem very expressive on paper. Maybe we're in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, I, I guess we're just gonna talk to the guy at the bar then. Still wondering what's gonna happen in here. Cause I assume every room's gonna get used. Black and orange flames or a scaly surface question mark. And a gun to bridge. I never had a chance to really travel. Ooh. No elevator music? I see how it is. Dang, elevator goes right to the bar. <laughs> That's not nice music. Uh, first glance, that was a pain in Oh. I guess we're gonna talk to that guy, but just look around real quick, not miss anything. Hello there! Ow, oh, this is vinyl. Oh! 
Oh, you there. What kind of service is this? I've been waiting for ages, you know. Do I know you, old man? I'm just here to collect your ticket. What are you talking about? The ferryman sent me. Eh, <laughs> did he now? That old curmudgeon must have gotten sick of my nagging. Well, how about it then? Wanna serve an old man a drink? I'm not the bartender, Gramps. Just give me your ticket. Ah. Uh, that's not tr the really the. Okay. Uh. That's not the really the attitude you want to be talking with me. Is it now? Let's try this another way. Make me a drink, and I'll think about giving you my ticket. Hmm. Guess you're not really giving me a choice. What do you want then? Cheer up, son. Cheer up, son. Let's see. A little drink never hurt anyone. Let's see. How about we start with something simple? Yes, I think a gin and tonic will do nicely. Sure. Oh, that's weird. Lighting's a bit broken. How? Okay, let's see. What's here? This? This? Oh. Nope. That's not it. Okay, so I understand what I have to do now. These... Okay. Well, I don't know what these drinks are, but okay. Okay, this is tonic. I think this will probably be it. Okay, uh... This? Hey, there we go. Ah, that's the stuff. For such a sourpuss, you sure know how to make a drink. Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? I mean, he, he did in a way. The ferryman told me everyone on the ship was dead. You think I'm dead? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't look quite dead to me, son. But if that's... But if that's so, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on this ship's been dead for some time now. Well, except for the grouch in the raincoat. No one's quite sure about him. Do you remember how you died? Ah, that's a story I've not told in a long time. And not one with a particularly happy ending either. Are you sure you want to hear it? Sure, go ahead. I have all the time in the world at the moment. I, uh, had a daughter once. A long time ago. Suffice to say, she died in an accident when she was young, and my wife followed her soon after. Died of a broken heart, I guess. It was only me and my son then, and well, I took to drinking. It eventually did me in. 
Anyway, you know what they say. You can only drink yourself to death once. I've literally never heard anyone say that, mate, but okay. Cheers. You seem to know how you got here. Do you know how I can tell if I'm dead? Now, that's a question only you can answer. It's different for everyone. Give it some time, though. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now then, how about another drink? I think I'm fuming some old-fashioned rum and cola this time. I don't... Well, I know one. I think it's these two. Hey, we got it. Alright. One sec. I'll be right back. Right back. See, I was gone one second with the magic of editing. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. You may not have the gab for a barkeep, but your drinks almost make up for it. Now, what were we talking about? Look, I can't remember anything before I got on this boat. Can't even recall my name. Oh! Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. <laughs> Get it? Floating, because we're on a boat. And, ah, uh, never mind. 
Anyway, I think it's time for another drink. Why don't we get a little fancier? What about some vodka with orange juice? Pretty sure I know which ones those are as well. There we go. Mm. That's some strong drink. Thanks, Marcus. I think I'm going to take a nap now. Wait, what did you call me? And he's sleeping. Where's your ticket, bud? I want your ticket. Whoa, who is that? Who are you? You're fading in and out of existence. I'll just leave you be, but who are you? Oh, and you're gone. You look cool. Mm. A key elevator. Random person again. Okay. I got a stick it. Mm -hmm. I see you got the old drunk for it. Good job, I suppose. Right, well, I don't have time to humor your every fancy right now. The choppy waters... Excuse me. The choppy waters require my full... Wait a minute. Who the... The hell is that woman going out on the Oi. bow? Oi, you there. Get off me bow. You're blocking the view. Bloody girl is not listening. Go out there and get her to move. Okay. Hi, who are you? Hello. You're the first person I've seen on this ship who doesn't look dead. But your face is blurry. Why are you here? I could ask you the same question. I'm here to collect your ticket. Ah, uh, this one's better. Isn't everyone on this ship supposed to be dead? They are dead. We're all dead. At least. I thought we all were until I saw you. I wonder. Have you talked to the ferryman? Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. He sent me for your ticket. How is he not dead? I see. I think your face is clipping through the mask there. Well, he's the captain of the ship, not a passenger. He takes travelers to their destination, wherever that is. He doesn't reach it until he has received all of the tickets from the passengers. I'm waiting for someone to board the ship, so I've been holding on to my ticket. Someone? I don't see one else getting on a moving ship. Yes. I can't remember exactly who he is, or how he will get here, but I will wait for him. I just can't remember what he looks like at all. What he looks like. Have you tried walking around and talking to people here? I've met some... interesting individuals. I've spoken with everyone I know on this ship. They're innocent, delusional, and pessimistic. I believe one is a shadow of the person I'm looking for. Are you talking about the black silhouettes on the ship? I mean, shadow in a more figurative way. Okay, so... More like a shell. 
of their former self. Those people that you cannot see are people you do not know. This person is someone I know, but he is not his whole self. I haven't seen any discovery passages. I had another question. I have some time to answer. Who are you? I'm more interested in that. I don't care who I am. My name is Alice. I know I'm dead. My last memory I had was in a hospital. I'm an illness. That's a lot to take in. Who is this shadow person? Yes, he is missing a large part of himself. Okay. His shadow feels like the embodiment of negativity. That's not fun. His mask haunts me. I so. This person help you remember who you are looking for. I didn't speak to him for long. He didn't have anything helpful to say. Mostly hurtful. I could not see his face as he was wearing a mask like the others. He does not sound very nice. I don't think I've met the guy. <laughs> he is not very nice. I don't think you would have. He's below the main deck, in the boiler room. How do you get down there? The lift only goes up, or does the ferryman know about this guy? How do you get there? The lift only goes up. The elevator is a little strange. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Could you help me get down there? If only I could. I can hardly move anymore. This mask weighs on me so. This is my mask is like. She said my face was blurry, so I don't think I got a mask. It doesn't seem heavy. Sorry. It doesn't seem heavy. What's up with the masks anyway? The masks seem to be our new identity as we travel on the ship. I don't feel like my body has any weight. But the mask burdens me. It feels heavy, in a way I've never felt. I don't know how much longer I can stay. Think about this person you are waiting for. Who is he? He was the one who waited with me, in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been here, but it seems like I'm more familiar with this ship than any place else. I see. Can you remember anything else about him? And... or... and you didn't get any answers from Shaman. Let's not bring up the Shadow Man because she doesn't seem to like him. I see. Can you remember anything else about him? When I think about him now, I see the mask of the man in the boiler room. I don't know why, but it torments me. Maybe the ferryman has answers. No. He cannot help me. Find the boiler man. I'm not going to last much longer. Marcus. Oh, my name's Marcus and... Oh. I then. I, I'm just gonna leave then. See ya. Alright. Let's talk to the uh, captain. Ferryman. Yo, Ferryman, what's up? Huh? Spoke door, did you? Bloody annoying, isn't she? At least she's out of the way. Well, don't you have something you ought to be doing? I'm busy here, and you have business downstairs. Go on, get. I, I will. You can be a bit nicer, you know. You are quite rude. 
Okay, so these are the shadows that I don't know who they are. Along with you, guys. I don't know who you are, I don't know who you are, and I haven't discovered any other shadows. So now there's the go down button. I, I shall go down then. Well, this is a nice boiler room, isn't it? But, I think this is a good place to leave off for this episode. Please join me next time in the sec part 2 of Port of Call. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I shall see you whenever next time is. Peace.